Hey guys, it's Lori. Today is Just Do It Round, VLCD 10. I thought I'd better hop on and keep myself accountable because I cheated yesterday really bad. And I'm not proud of it, but I'm also not really bothered by it. I knew what I was doing the whole time, you know. I, um, well, I'm not even going to tell you all the stuff I ate. I, just, I ate a lot of junk that I shouldn't have eaten and way off protocol. Um, I just wanted to hold myself accountable for that and say that I'm up 1.4 because of it. So we shall see what tomorrow brings. I've been a pretty good girl today, but I did have a bulletproof coffee this morning. And that's because, I don't know, I just I just felt like I wanted to add a little bit of fat in and see how it goes. So I tried a bulletproof coffee this morning. If it doesn't work out for me, then I will not do that again. So we'll see. Um, I've said before that I'm not popped this round at all. So Okay, so there's one more thing I wanted to mention, and that is that I when I'm on P2 is when I get the most inspiration through Pinterest or YouTube channels or whatever, you know, online for recipes to, for maintenance for P3, whatever. So I've been trying to find like keto recipes. So that's what I plan on doing for maintenance. And I found this channel that I really like. It's, um, it's a YouTube channel with um, lots of low carb, really easy, simple recipes that look really good. And she also does high fat. So it's low carb, high fat stuff. Um, nothing fancy. She doesn't necessarily even follow recipes to the exact, you know, she doesn't do exact measurements or anything like that. She kind of adds her own, her own thing to them once in a while. And, and it's just nothing fancy at all. It's just, you know, your average everyday person getting on to give recipe ideas. So just quick and simple. And it, she does grocery hauls and I like watching those too. I think it's interesting because I'd really like to convert over to monthly grocery shopping, but I don't, I don't know if that's ever going to happen for me, but she shows her grocery hauls and stuff like that. I just think it's cool. Yeah, I have a lot of her recipes actually pinned on my Pinterest board, the keto adaption board. So um, she's in Michigan, so she's in a neighboring state to me. Um, anyway, it's called Cheap, Easy, Low Carb, and I'll put a link below to her channel if, you, if you're interested in that. And I thought I'd do um, Princess Dye's challenge and show you some things that I love. Um, I'm not going to walk you around my house or anything because I, I really prefer to record from my webcam. So. I'll just, I just brought everything out here and um, I'll show you that, all that stuff. I hope you don't think I'm morbid or anything like that, but um, these are the things that are special to me. So this is um, photos of my grandpa. This is like, I think this was the last photo that was actually even taken of him before he passed away. So my grandma, when she was young. I know you can see the reflection, but that's my grandma when she was young. This is my grandma when she was even younger, preteen, with on her bicycle with a guitar. I think it's pretty cool. This was at my grandma's house. Actually, the other one I showed you was too. Let me show you this one again because, whoops, I want to show you the frame. I actually have duct tape on the back because otherwise it falls apart. But this frame is like really, really old, and it's the frame that it was in. So this is also a really old frame. It like moves. <laughs> but this is my grandma and her brother. So when they were little, and I just really, really like that old stuff like that, you know. And this is my other grandma. This is that's my maternal grandparents. And this is my paternal grandma. And I just these are the things that are special to me. And I just hope you don't think I'm some kind of morbid person because I also have this. And this is my puppy, my baby dog, my little wiener dog that I named Bo. Yes, I named him Bo. And he got hit by a car and it broke my heart because he was my baby. And so we had him cremated and that's him. So, oh, and here's this too. This is the shell from my grandpa was a veteran and they did the the um, salute. You know, the guys from the American Legion were there with the guns and did the salute at his graveside service and all the family members got, not all of us, but most of us got to keep a shell. This is something else that 
I keep. It is. My mom and dad got divorced after 27 years of marriage. And I have her wedding ring. Yeah, I have a missing finger now. It's pretty, huh? It popped off the other day. So anyway, I have my mom's wedding ring from when she was married to my dad. So she's still alive. My mom is. But she gave me the ring because she wanted to make sure I got it. Um, I also have this. This is my ring when I was married to my first husband. And I still have that because someday when I when I pass on to the next realm, <laughs> my youngest daughter Courtney will have this and my mother's wedding ring will go to my other daughter Brooke. And I also want to show you one other thing which I don't have here but I did go today and take a photo of it. So I'll show you a lamp that is really special to me and the reason I don't have it here is because I'm afraid that my boys will break it because they break everything. Can't have anything nice around here, you know. They throw a ball in the house and wrestle and all this other crap. So can't trust them. Not with this. This is this is just too special. So it's at my mom's house. So um, I went to her house and took a picture of it. This is a lamp that used to belong to my paternal grandmother, and when she passed away, my maternal grandmother bought it at her auction. Everything was auctioned off. So this actually belonged to both of my grandmothers. Yeah, and that was left to me when my maternal grandmother passed away. She left that to me. So I have my mom keep it for me. <laughs> I just don't trust it here. It's too breakable. Someday I'll have it in my house. But for now, it's going to stay there. Yeah, I guess that's about it. So, okay. See ya.